to the sky Never let adventures pass you by Be free and follow your crazy dreams We're living our vision in the RV Come ride with us and you'll be free Forgot about the uh, twenty-five dollar um, the gate card to get in oh, and out. Yeah. They do a and they give you the cash back, so oh, we got more huh. cash. Awesome. We just stopped and got cash in case we needed it for laundry last night. And then the refund for the uh, since we're leaving a day early. We decided we're gonna once again change in plans. We decided to leave a day early. We're heading to see a couple good friends of ours. So it's an eight-hour drive. We decided we wanted to take more of our time and I didn't see anything from here to there that along our route that we can really that was interesting visit. <laughs> but you know how that is a lot of times we do that and then something pops yeah, up along true. the way but the casino that we're gonna stay at tonight is right along the Mississippi River oh, cool. it's a really nice RV park mm -hmm. funny thing is when I talked to her yesterday she said that she's been there I can't remember how many years she said but she's never seen that RV park full <laughs> hmm. But it's a first come, first serve. Yeah. And it's really nice, all concrete pads. There was no harvest hosts along the way there. Mm. I had to drive out of the way to get to one. All right, we ready to go? I think so. Oh, I'm sorry, ready to go. <laughs> say it right, Brian, say it right. <laughs> Thank you much. Carruthersville, Missouri, clear down the bottom of the tip right next to Tennessee, right on along the Mississippi River. <laughs> Let's see what time does it get dark this time of year? Forget. Um. Oh, probably close to seven. It's cloudy though, so. Ready? What's, <laughs> what's ready? Ready to go. Uh, there, yes.
bacon sound good to you tonight for supper, honey? That's sick. It's almost 6.23 right now, so it's almost 6, no, it's going to be 6.51 by the time we arrive. I think we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to check out the RV park. They said it's first come, first serve, and we're going to see, uh, yeah, we'll check it out. We don't need to, we can, they said you can stay in the parking lot if you want to, which is fine with us, but we may do it just to check it out and they might have a shower house for Michelle. She ha it's been weeks since she's had it. No, it has not. <laughs> okay. Pulling your legs. I can't reach their legs. Take the exit, then turn right onto State Route 84 toward Carothersville. It's a nice uh, campground here. We talked to somebody this time that did say there is shower houses over here. There's a laundry room. You can kind of hear the lady in the background. I thought she said pool table too, but I'm not sure. That's a small uh, building. Yeah. The, the uh, Mississippi River is just right here along the back. When you come through back here, you come through a floodgate. Um, it's opened up, obviously. Pretty nice. Looks like it's full hookups. But uh, I think it's around 50 some dollars, unless you get a player's card or if you have a good SAM. But we're supposed, you're supposed to go inside, you pick your site first, and then you go inside and you go to the winner's circle, and uh, then you tell them what site you picked. Well, we noticed over here at the, uh, here in the campground, they have uh, a laundry room and uh, private showers and uh, what we noticed, what I'm trying to tell you is <laughs> the laundry is free. So when we went into the, the casino last night, it was really smoky, which we absolutely hate. Some casinos, there's no smoking at all. We decided to go in there and get something to eat. We would not recommend it. It's just okay <laughs> at best. Um, but uh, we got our jacket and clothes all smoky, so we're gonna wash our clothes real quick here in the uh, laundry room, since, especially since it's free and we're right here. And uh, take our showers, even though we don't have a lot of laundry to do. Let me show you around here. This is the laundry room. This person's clothes have been sitting in there all night and still there today. pool table it's free and then each one of these doors is a shower take a shower, throw the clothes in the dryer, get those all taken care of, and then we'll get on our way. Let me go check on the laundry. Okay. The cost of this uh, campground was uh, 54 with tax, $54. It is full hookups. Got your water, electric, and then there's your sewer right down there. So a lot of you people out there are curious as to my feelings of van life and this van. and um, So I thought I'd share a little bit about that. I think it's awesome for traveling. It is so nimble. We can pretty much go just about anywhere and not have any problems finding a smaller parking place or you know as long as we can back over a curb or something like that where the the back end can be over the grass and the curb. If we are driving through a certain area and we see something it's like pull over we want to check this out we can do that right away we don't have anything that we're um, towing behind us or anything like that to worry about. 
and um, everything about the van uh, speaks quality and it's just uh, an excellent excellent van it gets a little close sometimes uh, that's just van life in general we are coming up on two years two years of living full-time in a van. Never thought I would ever, ever, ever say that. For right now, it is working out very good, and um, especially since Brian has fixed his work situation up in the front where he has his new little desk that he puts at the steering wheel, he is elevating his neck more, and he's not getting neck issues, so that has helped him quite a bit. My work situation back here at the table using the TV monitor and everything has always been good and worked out well. So, um, I mean, our, we're working all the time, we're traveling all the time. So, you know, that's, that's our life. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's been working out pretty good. Oh, the, the bathroom situation. I know a lot of people always ask me about that. It is a little, I think with any van, um, cumbersome for a woman if they have long hair you're gonna um, use more water to, to get shampoo and conditioner out and stuff like that which uses more water out of your tanks if you're boondocking vans have small tanks so just kind of keep that in mind I mean I've gotten used to the bathroom I don't use it a lot as a shower anymore we utilize more campgrounds or truck stop showers Life ain't what there's still a part of me that's trying Come lay on my chest You can find a little rest from hiding Don't let this go Doing a little research while we're driving, trying to think of some ideas where we're going to go along our route to head south to our next final destination. But what I do when I normally do this route planning, I'll have a map open of where we're at, and then I'll do research, trying to find things to see, things to do, historical places, and then I'll have RV Trip Wizard open on another page. And as I find these places, I go ahead and I put them in RV Trip Wizard and I just throw them what I think is in order because when you're on RV Trip Wizard, it'll ask you where you want to put it. And then when I'm done with all the research and putting everything in uh, RV Trip Wizard, I look at the map view and it shows the driving directions to all these different places that, that I put in there. And of course, they're not always going to line up perfectly to make sense for your driving pattern. But on the left-hand side of each one of them, you click and hold down, you can drag them and sort them so that the driving sequence makes more sense. Sometimes things have to change, so later I'll go in and I'll just delete where we didn't go. And then when we're all done, at the end of each year, we've got a map of our entire route that we did for that whole year and for us it helps because it also tracks our mileage but that's how we do our route planning. Michelle hasn't really used Trip Wizard though have you? No. Yeah what? Well, Brian does all our we, places research and reservations and stuff. Well you, you do some research. I look out across the water I smell the song I feel the breeze I 
get some feeling you need to go inside for anything? No. I think I'm good. It is time for some much needed visiting time. Yes, we haven't seen them for a long time. Quite a long time. Yeah. Uh, so, we will see you guys in like five seconds, but yet it's going to be here in a few days. <laughs> Jump ahead. Franklin, Tennessee, and we're starting off our morning at the Frothy Monkey. Our friends Bernie and Mike told us about this place. It's supposed to be pretty good. <laughs> supposed to be good. <laughs> and Michelle just read that they have gluten-free bread. Oh. It, what do you mean? Oh, you told me. No, I said I know. Oh, you said you, she said she knows. <laughs> we got a 30-minute wait. So there's more than one Frothy Monkey. And the story of the Franklin location is that it's located inside the former manse of the Presbyterian Church, which is historical. The church is right next door to it, so we're anxious to, I, I guess I don't know where we're sitting because I said first available, but if once we go in, we'll kind of see if we can check it out a little bit. like butter. There's a little heart. What is the name of that drink? Like butter, pecan and butter based homemade sauce in this latte. That looks yummy. Well, does it taste like butter? I don't even taste the butter. But it's yummy. So we thought we'd stop here in Franklin, Tennessee. If you've never been to Franklin, Tennessee, it's a really cool place. We came through before, but they've got a lot of uh, little shops, a very touristy little town, cute town, a lot of history. There's a lot of things that you can see and do here. Unfortunately for us, we're not going to be staying here today. We're gonna to try to see all the pretty fall colors, but we heard a lot about this place uh, at the Frothy Monkey, and we just had to stop here for breakfast and a coffee and a like butter. Dang, girl! That was good. This is the garden omelet. What do you got there? Uh, this must be gluten-free toast, but as you can tell, those are eggs and that's sausage. <laughs> and this, I can't remember, some kind of grit. Smoked Gouda grits. Oh, that's right. Smoked Gouda grits. What do we got here, Mr. Brian? I don't Brian? know. What is that? Oh. You picked the, You said this was the blueberry? Yeah, but I, I only got it because you wanted it. Oh, right? you didn't. <laughs> this is gluten-free toast. Look how thick that is. It is so, so good. If you're gluten-free, ask for the gluten-free bread. What is it about the Southern draw? I don't know, I think it's easy for us because we're kind of like a, a little on the edge of that anyway. All right, you guys ready to go? I said that with a Southern draw. Y'all ready to go? given where we at. Yeah. Now we're talking. Get it. Let's get it. Yeah. Who in the heck you spanking?
Okay. Buggies. 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 Trying to run away. She's going straight for the t-shirts. I know she is. No pie down there. Uh no. Just say nope. Say nope. Nope. No. Oh, yep. What it is about Bucky's? We, a lot of times we just want to go in and just look at the chaos, <laughs> and then we feel like, well, what should we buy? Let's buy something. Got to buy something, right? Let's buy something. Are you hungry? No, but we got to buy something to eat. Got uh, just about two hours left. Now it's looking like we're gonna get there at 6:28 this evening. Mm. Um, ish. It'll be dark. Well, yeah. We're we... gonna lose an hour. Yeah. Say time zone change. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, you're still there. Do you want me to drive? Only if you want to drive. Well, I wasn't sure you are busy. How about asking them? You guys want her to drive? Should I drive? Maybe Fish. I should drive. Might be best if I drive. They want you to drive. Okay. It's probably a good idea. Because we have working hard But from the very start we get this far forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.